with Austin Meadows and Austin this was your first career four hit game of course highlighted by that two run home run in the second inning what was working so well for you that you were able to see the ball like you did today yeah I mean I feel like I was staying back I feel like I was uh, being aggressive up there and seeing the ball uh, seeing the ball well today you're gonna have days where you see the ball well and some days you might not but today was one of those days and I was able to um, you know have a good game you've had such a strong start to the season along with the rest of the team but for you personally how does that give you confidence moving forward Forward into the rest of the season in one of your first full seasons with the race. Yeah, I think um, you know the, from the first series, you know, facing the Astros, facing a really good team as the Astros, really good pitching, and being able to know that we can compete with those guys and starting off strong and just you know keeping the ball rolling. And I think for me, um, just knowing that I can compete and have that confidence up there, and whether it's a good day or a bad day, but just, keep, just keeping that confidence and being able to go out there and play a game and help the team win. This is the fourth straight series that you guys have won. What's been men behind the mentality of this team that's given you such a strong start. We just go out there, um, you know, we're going to put together good at-bats. We're going we're gonna to pitch. We have the confidence that we know that we can compete with anybody out there in the division or in baseball. So um, for us to be able to get those, you know, those series wins are huge, and especially early. So we're excited to see what the future holds. The five innings pitched, I guess, besides that home run, how did you feel about your performance out there today? Um, I think we did all right. I thought Mikey did a great job hanging with me. Uh, I didn't really have very good uh, command of my fastball today, and that made it a little more difficult. I threw a lot more off speed than I wanted to, and especially with the... You know, pretty big lead there. I was still throwing a lot of a lot of breaking balls and cutters there in the fifth. So, you know, ideally I'm I'm in the zone a lot earlier and in counts and more aggressive. It just I just was unable to to look at my fastball today. How do you go back and maybe how do you correct that as a pitcher? I mean, be able to do that um, better next time. Well, it, it doesn't. You know, I don't know. Maybe it's a bit, little more uh, being a little overly critical I mean the fact the fact is I fell a lot behind a lot of guys um, you know that might just be you know mindset thing going into an at-bat where you're just trying to get ahead work ahead um, but I, I honestly felt just like I, it was hard for me to, today to, to throw my fastball where I wanted to it wasn't uh, I wasn't necessarily feeling timid or anything like that it was just difficult for me to do it so it, it'll come with reps um, and fortunately I was able to to you know, spin a couple in there in the zone, and you know, I had a little baby slider I throw, and it bailed me out a couple times. This is a day where it's good to get some good offense, just the way that they kind of hung around and the way the game unfolded. Yeah, I mean, well, anytime you score a lot of runs, uh, I don't know. It's like. I don't know. You, you don't know how the game would have unfolded had he not scored a bunch of runs. You don't, you don't know. Who knows? Uh, obviously, it worked out. Do you, uh, you know Austin Meadows at all from the Pirates? No, I never knew him. I don't think I ever met him. Yeah, I'm in years. glass. Uh, he was in camp. Right. Austin, I think, might have been just a little behind. What do you think of him today? <laughs> Well, I, do, I mean, I, you, you hear these guys, and you, you know, it's like this kids coming up through the organization, and it's like, you know, hear things. But I knew, it's, I mean, as soon as I, I, I've seen him play before, and as soon as I saw him here in spring, and yeah, he's legit. <laughs> awesome acquisition. Charlie, what's going right for this team early in the season? What are the positive things you see that have gotten you off to the start? Yeah, I mean, it's like, it's like anything else. You get, you're... And teams firing on all cylinders, you know, you limit the other team to scoring runs. You score enough runs to win. Um, when you don't do a great job of limiting, limiting runs, the team still puts up a, a lot of runs. And, you know, it's like we're just doing, we're just, we're doing what we need to do right now. Um, it's, you know, it's not really complicated. It's just the, uh, you know, when we, when we get, we, we're going to hit rough patches. You know, it's going to happen. And. Um, I think we're going to be pretty resilient, and you know that'll allow us to get to be in a, in a good spot later on in the season. Home run! I mean, that had to feel good back at this park. I mean, yeah, it feels great. You know, trying to do my job, trying to um, do my best for my team, and you know, I just feel great. Four series wins in a row for you guys. That's the first time it's happened in franchise history. I mean, to start the season. How special is that? It's a lot of special, you know. We've been being focused and, you know, trying to win series every every time we go to a, a new city. 
And I think uh, we have been doing a really good job, pitchers, hitters, and defense. So I think we got a really good team, and you know, we're focused and trying to play hard every single day and trying to do our best. When you're, when you're rounding the bases, kind of knowing since this ball, in, in this part, your first home run of the season, you know, how, did that, how good did that necessarily feel? Oh, yeah, a lot of feelings, you know, a lot of feelings. Just happy to, you know, to get my, my first home run of the season. So, you know, happy for my team. We, we, we won another game, so let's see what happens tomorrow. Do you, do you like your new situation in Tampa Bay? Were you surprised the White Sox didn't bring you back? I mean, uh, I, like, I, like, I like here. I'm, I'm happy here, you know, and it was a little surprise, but it is what it is. It's baseball, so... Just gotta keep focus and winning some and winning winning more games. Did it feel different than all the other homers you hit here? Ah? Huh? Did it feel a little different than all the other homers you hit here? Ah, yeah, it's the special, you know, it's special. So just happy and you know we got another win, so we're just happy. Early Morton, five innings. Um, you know, besides that um, home run in the third. I mean, what did you think of? What he was able to do, he kind of toughed out some situations. Yeah, um, I thought, you know, the, the command, we, we've seen his c command a little bit sharper with the last two starts, but that's fine. He, he still made big, big pitches when he needed to. His pitch count got a little bit high. Totally could have gone back out. Just felt given where the score was, everything, it probably made the most sense. We've talked about valuing the workload of all of our pitchers. If we got an opportunity to shave an inning off here or there, we're going to do it, and that's what was the, the decision was. Austin Meadows, four hits for the first time in his career. How impressive was he? Uh, very, very. Our entire offense really did a nice job against uh, Santana right out of the gate, really putting together good at bats, challenging him. Uh, Austin led the way, but, you know, the big homers by, by him, Brandon Lau, Oppo, and then Avi, I know that was, had to be pretty special for Avi for a home run back at this ballpark. Well, now that you've seen him, you know, you saw him a little bit in the last year. He, he, he's got the ability to do everything well. Uh, he can run. He can run on the bases. He covers ground in the outfield. Um, he's worked so hard on his defense to continue to gain ground um, and then hit. You know, whether it's quality of bat or hit for power, we've seen we've seen both of it. Um, he's got a chance to be a pretty special player with, with this opportunity that's kind of he's earned to, to get going here in the lineup and be a big part of our uh, group but he's bringing a lot lot to the table right now you said something about Yandi the other day that I think might apply to Austin too of kind of giving him a chance I, I think know they're very similar yeah I mean it probably got there different ways but this spring I mean it's probably a better question for them but I think that you, you know to be told that you've got a path to go play and uh, the competition in spring, there wasn't competition. The competing was just to get better, uh, find a way to get better. Those guys both knew they were on our club and big parts of our club. And hopefully that eased some of their thoughts and allowed them to work on things rather than compete at bat to at bat, which a lot of young players have a tendency, just natural right. to do. Right. Is Brandon Lau okay after that <laughs> collision? He's fine, yeah. Uh, yeah, it was, you know, the odd ball where odd where the the ball ended up and both guys did everything right they're trying to make a play and you know where our positional alignment was they butted heads it looked like brandon got the the worst of it but he says he's totally fine offensively did you like the way you guys just added on all day and i mean not any big super innings but you kept adding on yeah uh i really like the fact that we added on there in the in the in the top of the ninth we we needed those runs just to kind of calm the situation. They, they were getting some momentum. They had some good at bats. Um, but yeah, any time that you can continue to capitalize and just peck away, I think it, it, it has the ability to drain the opposition a little bit. He, he got into the trouble in the eighth, but what, what do you think about Font? Uh, he, he picked us up. He did a good job. He really picked us up. It's good to see him get out there, get his pitch count. You know, I think he got left at like close to mid 50s. Uh, Maybe a tick higher than what we would like, but the velo was good. Uh, and he came in that said we, we needed to get to the end of the game, and he got us really close. Come back to Austin for a minute. He seems pretty mellow when we are around him. Yeah, he's Do you very see pretty even getting, killed. Does, yep. he get, does he get excited in the dugout when he goes four for five and knocks the four runs? Right? Uh, no, not really. He gets excited when he catches fish. I know that. We talk about <laughs> fishing all the time. So, uh, no, he's pretty even keeled. Stanek and uh, Alvarado, just maybe not particularly sharp. Uh, yeah, not their sharpest. Um, it's going to happen sometimes. They just couldn't quite command the, the, the ball the way they wanted to. But good thing that our offense really showed up and gave us enough cushion to, to allow that. If you're going to have a hiccup, I guess you'd rather have it with a six-run lead. Mm -hmm.
we talked a lot about the perspective of these starts here. I mean, now you've won four series to start the year. I mean, you, you kind of use that as a measuring stick probably more than the actual one loss at this point, right? I think so, yeah. I mean, I, Th this game's tough. This league's tough. These, are, I mean, the, 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 you saw what they did today against us. You know, they just piled on and put. They had the tying run to the plate, or winning run, or was it tying? Mm -hmm. Winning run at the plate. So, uh, to be able to say that we're winning series, I think, is a, is a testament to how well the guys are doing.